Okay. So you met the idea of stereoisomers where we can have either geometric isomerism, where we have, for instance, a double bond, and the groups around that are fixed in position, and therefore you, can, uh, you get different versions of the compound based on uh, the which three-dimensional spatial arrangement the groups are arranged in. Okay, you've also met the idea of chiral molecules, which are molecules that are non-superimposable uh, mirror images of one another. Okay. Now, I'm going to introduce you to uh, a third concept to go, uh, to go along with these, and that's the idea of a diastereomer. Now, a diastereomer is a compound which is which is a uh, which is a stereoisomer, but which is not an enantiomer. So remember that an enantiomer are when we have two non-superimposable mirror images. So we have a left hand, our left hand, and a right hand that are enantiomers. Okay. Now you've already met diastereomers. We've just not called them a diastereomer in terms of geometric isomers of double bonds. Okay? Those are not enantiomers, but they are stereoisomers. Okay? So those are diastereomers. Okay? The other place that you're likely to meet it is in molecules like this, where you have essentially two or more uh, asymmetric carbons, two, two chiroxanters, and these groups can be arranged in different ways around them. So if we take this example, we can have, for instance, these hydroxyl groups, both of them coming out towards us. They could go behind the page. Or one could come out and one could go backwards, and then we can get the other version of that as well. Okay. Now, these are not enantiomers of one another. Okay. They, they share the same sort of chiral center, but they are not enantiomers. They are instead diastereomers. Okay. It's an important difference, and it particularly comes up in, in sugars, where sugars often have different arrangements of, of hydroxyl groups, actually, around them, and you get different diastereomers of the sugars. Okay. And diastereomers are stereoisomers, which are not enantiomers. So they do not have a, uh, a non-superimposable mirror image of one another.